enter to keep this first track. To record additional tracks, press the second Sequencer Preset Track button, and then the Replace Track Sound button. Select a sound using the upper and lower 0 through 9 buttons. While holding down the record button, press play. The display reads, Keep New Track. At this point, you have the option of keeping the new track or keeping the old track. You have this option after recording each track. You can switch between the choices with the up and down value buttons. For our tutorial, press the enter button when the display reads, keep new track. You can record up to eight sequence tracks on the KT. of other things you can do to your sequence tracks once you've created them. They include quantizing, a way to correct any timing errors, reorchestrating, a way to change what sound a particular track will play, or simply re-recording a particular track. See your musician's manual or quick start guide for details. After you've recorded a number of tracks, you can chain them together into one song. The KT provides eight additional song tracks that can run the combined length of your sequences. Creating songs is similar to creating sequences. Before we create a song, however, let's select an existing song and listen to it. Press the Select Sequence Preset button. Next, press the Bank button once. This brings you to the ROM sound bank, as indicated by the letter R in the upper left portion of the display. Now, press the upper 7 button and the lower 0 button. This is the location of the KT demo song. Press play to listen to the song, and the stop button when you're finished. Songs are selected the same way as sequences, using the bank button and the upper and lower 1 through 9 buttons. Let's create our own song. We begin by selecting a location for the song. Press the bank button. Press the upper 7 button and the lower 1 button. Press Enter. The next display asks you to confirm the location in which you're creating your new song. Press Yes. The KT now asks you to name your song. Using the left and right cursor buttons, in combination with the up and down value buttons or the data entry slider, name your song My Song. When you're finished changing the name, Press Enter. Every sequence and song has its own effect. Let's select one for our new song. Press the Edit Sequence Preset button. Press the Upper 8 button. Then press the Lower 0 button and hold it for a few seconds. Press the Up or Down value buttons until the display reads EQ chorus reverb, meaning that this effect will be used for the song.
Now that we've selected an effect, we can begin to assemble the song. Press the upper three button and then the lower six button. The bottom line of the display should read, Edit Song Steps. Press the Enter button. The display shows our song's first step. Press the right cursor button. The bottom line of the display is now flashing. This is the display where we select the first sequence in our song. Let's use the tutorial sequence. Press the Up Value button until the display reads Tutorial Sequence. Tutorial Sequence is now selected as the first song step. We'll use My Sequence as our second step. Press the left cursor button once so that the step number is flashing again. Press the Up Value button to change the number 1 to a 2. Now press the right cursor button so that the bottom line of the display is flashing. Now locate My Sequence using the Up Value button. It is now selected as the second song step. To listen to My Song, press the Select Sequence Preset button and then press Play. The song starts with the tutorial sequence and then moves right into my sequence. The song will play continuously until you press the stop button. Now that you've created a song, you may want to store it to an external source. The KT uses industry standard PCM CIA memory cards for sound and sequence data storage. The same type used by many notebook computers. Consult section 13 of the Musician's Manual for more details. Once you have a PCM CIA card, storing KT sound and sequence data on it is easy. Insert the card into the KT's card slot located just above the pitch and mod wheels. Press the Edit Sequence button. Then press the upper 9 button. The display asks you to press Enter to confirm your command. Press Enter. The words Memory Card should be slowly flashing on the bottom line of the display. Press Enter. The display now offers four choices regarding source and the destination of the data to be saved. Use the value buttons to select I int to A card. This instructs the KT to save all sounds, presets, and sequences currently in the internal bank as well as the location of our song and sequence data to the A side of the card. If you already have data stored on your card, be sure to store it in another location, as this procedure will overwrite any data that may be on that side of the card. Press Enter to carry out the transfer of data. This concludes our brief tour of the KT-64 Voice Weighted Action Keyboards. We hope it has given you the confidence to explore further the many capabilities and features of the KT. As you explore, don't forget to check out the Musician's Manual. It contains detailed descriptions and procedures for using all of the KT's functions and features. Most of all, have fun! KT76 has got a real nice action. It's got a nice weighted feel. And the sounds and the action together are such that it's really easy to play. If you really play and sort of get lost in the sounds. The sounds on here are so good that just makes you play the right stuff. If you're playing that trumpet, you forget what you're playing. Now you're a trumpet player, and in your mind, that's what those sounds make you do. 
uh, may make your style change, and that's that's uh, a good thing for the keyboard to have. I guess the real way of putting it, if it's the sounds cheesy, you're gonna play that way. You know? If it sounds good, you're gonna play good. That's the way I do it.